Surging Sparks is about to come out. Pre-release should be on the 26th of October and November 9th is when Surging Sparks comes out. I actually think it's November 8th. But with a new set means new gym leader challenge cards to go over. And thankfully for us, um, they came out early. They got the show. The English cards came out early. It was kind of crazy. So I didn't. we didn't have to wait for translations. They were just straight up the English cards. So I got some good high quality PNG files for you to look at. Hope you guys are doing well. And I want you guys to know that you are loved. Let's go ahead and start with some grass. So I was going over some of the new cards. I wasn't super just into it. I mean, I guess I was super into it, but we're going to start with grass, okay? Um, these are just cards that I skimmed over and found and thought was super interesting and some that we all knew were going to be interesting. We got started with Ed Executor. So Executor is a stage one, start, does evolve from Execute and has 130 HP. It's going to be for the grass GLC decks. We got Barrage of Clock for one grass energy. It's going to hit for 60. Flip a coin for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. This attack does six damage for each heads. Really kind of fun. You can play this with uh, the Bramble Gas that also has the coin flip. This just, just could be a fun meme deck to play, especially when paired with um, Venusaur that doubles your energy. You have all that energy that you have on this executor as well as your active your opponent's active Pokemon. You can hit some big damage or you can just hit for little damage depending on how many heads you flip. But executor is going to be a fun meme Man, I got some allergies. Allergies are going absolutely haywire. But Executor is going to be a fun little meme deck for the grass uh, GLC gym. Then we got Zarude. Zarude was kind of cool-ish. We got 120 HP. It's going to be a basic, so easy to get out and get running. We got Jungle Whip. You can use uh, Venusaur and Rillaboom to be able to get energy out on there. Because uh, it does take two grass, one colorless. But it has Jungle Whip, 80 plus 80 more damage if you take all of that energy and put it back into your hand. So it does get all the energy out of the deck and put it into your hand somehow. So you might want to be able to find a ways to shuffle the energy back in. But, I mean, it's an easy answer to hit 160 damage. I believe that takes out, you know, Gallade in the Psychic deck and amongst other ones like Snorlax, Unfazed, Fax, uh, Unfazed Snorlax. And then from there, we got Wo Chin. Well, Chin's another grass Pokemon. It's going to be a basic. There's some funny stuff that you can do with this. It has the hazardous greed attack. One grass, one colorless. Hits for 20. But if there are three or fewer cards in your deck, this uh, this attack also does 100 damage to two of 120 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's a fun little random spreader that you can use in your grass deck as a you know a means to an end. If you have three or few cards left in your deck, it's kind of crazy. I don't know how you're going to get there, you know, absolutely, but it is good in a pinch at the end. If you've went through your whole deck and you're just kind of recycling energy to make or recycling cards to make sure that you have cards in the discard or in deck, then uh, Hazard Screed is going to do some fun, fun and funny stuff towards the end of your games if you play this Wochin in your grass deck. Then for fire, we got some fun stuff to work with. We got a new cast form. Uh, Sunny form has 70 HP. Has, for one, fire energy singe. Your opponent's extra Pokemon is now burned. And then Sunny assist. Move all this energy from the from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. For one, fire one colorless. Hits for 50, so not bad. But also acts as a free retreater for your fire deck. Um, if you want to replace the current one. if there, if, if there, I'm pretty sure there's a, another cast form sunny form that has free retreat but this one might be the optimal one out of the two which is kind of cool then we have skelly dirge stage two has 180 hp we have the ability unaware prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's pokemon done to this pokemon damage is not an effect so it's a built-in sable eye protector it's a built-in devolution protector it just kind of helps make sure that well if devolution is a tool you guys can let me know that down in the comments. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Blog devolution. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll cross that road when we get there. Then we have Torcherto. Torcherto. One fire, one colorless. Hits for 60 plus. This attack does 20 more damage for each benched Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, which is kind of cool. Armor Rouge is something to be excited for in the, the upcoming set. 
Stage one, of course, 140 HP has combustion for two colorless, hits 50, but the fun attack for this guy is gonna be Crimson Blaster, two fire, one colorless, discard all fire energy from this Pokemon, and this attack does 180 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So this is a big attack hitting for anything on the bench, so you can just gust something up, use an escape rope, anything like that, and you'll be able to hit that guy on the bench so long as they don't have a bench barrier currently out. But Armor Rouge, 180 damage for fire is actually really good. This is gonna see some fun play in the fire deck. And then after that, we have Gouging Fire is a basic 130 HP. It's gonna be an ancient Pokemon. So you might be able to use Professor Sala's Vitality with this to also get some energy acceleration. But we have Lunge Out for 30 plus one fire. Um, not too much, kind of good in a pinch, but we have Blazing Charge for two fire, one colorless, hits for 100 plus 70 if your opponent has four or fewer prizes. So that is really cool because after that, you're just hitting for 170 after you've already met that condition. Uh, 170 is really good, especially for fire. Fire getting all of this fun stuff. We might see fire getting some, uh, getting some more play and being able to, you know, Claw its way up in the meta a little bit. And then we have my boy, Satitan. We have some water GLC up in here. We have 180 HP, same as the other Satitan, still stage one, but we have the ability Solid Body. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. This is awesome. If you're wanting to play Tank and Heal, you're taking 30 less, and then if you have anything else, damage modifier on, on you, or, or like uh, soaking up damage, this is just gonna make this so much better. It's going to be really awesome. Still has the same weakness to metal. And then it has the dangerous mouth attack for four colorless, one water. Hits for 150. I mean, 240 or 150. You have to really kind of figure out which type that you want to play. I'm definitely going to be testing with this quite a bit to see which one I like the most. But if you're wanting to really lean into that tank and heal, this type is going to be the way to go. And then we saw one of the straws that broke the camel's back. Magneton, this guy got Raikou banned along with the new Joltik that just came out. But if you have the ability over Volt Discharge, once during your turn, you may attach up to three basic energy cards from your hand to your discard pile. No, from your discard pile to your lighting Pokemon in any way you like. If you use this ability, this Pokemon's knocked out. So you're giving up a prize, but you're also getting three basic energy acceleration. This guy is still going to be pretty good, especially. You know, in a pinch, you need energy out on the field. This guy is going to get it out for you. I got the new Rotom in here. It has 80 HP. It's a basic. But I thought it would kind of go good in the Shock Lock deck. Possibly. I'm not sure. But it has the Crushing Pulse attack for one. Lighting energy. Your opponent reveals their hand. Discard all item cards and Pokemon tool cards you find there. So, I mean, that could be really cool. And just like at the beginning stages, really just kind of mailing out all your opponent's tools and items i know that there are several decks out there that don't want that to happen so this guy being in that in that shock lock control deck could pose a problem especially for those that you know have switches in their deck this guy's just going to discard those switches out of your opponent's hand so i think this is going to see some play or at least some experimentation in the shock lock or any control lining deck. Next up, we have Tapu Koko, has 120 HP, has the summoning lightning attack for one colorless. Search your deck for up to two lightning Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So you can just use this as a way to get Pokemon, you know, early on for setup, but also has a great attack. Prize count for two lightning, one colorless, has 90 plus 90 damage if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. So 180 damage for lightning. Uh, this easily is actually also really good as well. I think this Tapu Koko also will probably see some damage or see some play in some lightning decks. Maybe not so much the spread lightning decks, but definitely in some other lightning decks. For Psychic, we got Togekiss, has 140 HP. It's a stage two, so it takes some time to get set up, but we have the ability Wonder Kiss. Whenever your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin if heads, Take one more prize card. The effect of Wonder Kiss does not stack. So if you take a knockout with this guy, if you flip a coin, get heads, you're taking an extra prize. Kind of fun. So this guy might see some play just because that ability is really fun. And with the potential to take an extra prize 
for free. Why not? It's hitting for 140. That's pretty good numbers for most things in it, GLC, unless you're going up against a super tanky deck. But still, speed wing for three colorless, especially if you have um, different ways of accelerating energy. It's not that bad to get going. Speaking of energy acceleration and psychic, we got smooch on 30 HP free retreat. So it's a free retreat option in the psychic deck. I still think that you might see Cleffa being played more than Smoochum, but we have the Delightful Kiss attack for free. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. So it's just a little bit of acceleration early on if you want to use it. Smoochum. Then we got Uxi. So we got a lot of cool spread damage psychic Pokemon. We got Uxi, 70 HP, painful memories for one psychic energy. Put two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. After Uxi, we got Mesprit for 70 HP, full heart, one colorless, attached up to two basic psychic energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon in any way you like, or to from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. But you're gonna be using it for Guardian Burst, 160 damage. If you don't have if you don't have Uxi and Azelf on your bench, this attack does nothing. So you want to make sure that you're having both Uxi and Azelf on the bench when using this attack, but it's only two energy and you're hitting for 160. With a muscle band, you're hitting for 180. So Mesprit is a fun card to get going as well. Very cheap, basic, can get it going pretty quick. You got a Zelf, another 70 HP Pokemon, one psychic, one colorless. We got Neurokinesis, 10 plus. This attack does 10 damage for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. So this isn't just on one of your opponent's Pokemon, this is all of them combined. So if you get one, of the painful memories attacks going and they have a full bench including the active you're going to be able to hit for let's see that's going to be two four six eight ten twelve damage and that's going to be 120 130 damage for you know that amount and then if you get any more damage counters on there it's just gonna you know keep stacking over time so Zelf is probably a good cleanup attacker but that's pretty cool. We got the Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf just package in this set. And I think you're going to see some pretty fun decks coming out of this, along with Kafagrigus. 120 HP, stage one evolves from Yamask. We have the Law of the Underworld for one psychic energy. Put six damage counters on each of your Pokemon that has an ability, both yours and your opponent's. So this is going to be also really good, especially if you're playing against heavy ability decks such as water, such as, I know Dark plays quite a bit. There's just plenty of decks out there that have plenty of Pokemon that need abilities. So you're just putting six damage counters on there for each of those. It's kind of crazy. So Kafagrius is going to be a fun deck also, or a fun include in your Psychic Spread deck. For fighting, we have another double colorless energy user. We have Dawn Fan, 150 HP. We have Knock Flat for one Fighting energy, this attack isn't this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So we kind of go through abilities or stuff like that for 40 damage, but you're gonna really use it for guarded rolling for one fighting, two colorless, 120 H 120 damage. Discard two energy from this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks. So it's just gonna be kind of like I'm thinking in a tank and heal deck where you're just taking less and then you know, you have to discard that energy, so you might use this as a last resort. You know, trying to take take soak up damage from your opponent. I don't know. I thought it was pretty fun. So we got Dawn Fan. Then we got Gastrodon with the ability Sticky Bind. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, bench stage two Pokemon have no abilities. So if there's something going running rampant that stage two at some point. This guy, if it's on your bench, just turns off those abilities. Then we have Coridon. If you can get this guy going, it's going to be an ancient Pokemon, 130 HP, basic, so you can get it out quick. Has the unrelenting onslaught attack for a double colorless energy, 30 plus 150 more damage if you used an ancient Pokemon pre in the previous turn. If a Pokemon attacked in the previous turn. So you could probably get this guy recycled and recycled and recycled. You got DTE, you got double turbo, you got twin energy, you got counter energy, you got Professor Solo's vitality to be able to get 
an accelerated energy and then attach one from hand. So there's all sorts of different ways you can get Karadon going multiple turns. So this is going to be kind of a fun, uh, fun to include it in fighting decks. And I'm excited to see kind of uh, what gets, what what's made of a Karadon. Then for metal, we got Iron Crown, 130 HP, has the deleting slash attack for one metal, one colorless, 40 plus 80. If your opponent plays three or more bench Pokemon at that time. So you can just easily get 120 damage with this guy if your opponent's benching three Pokemon. And if they play around this, this means that they're only benching two and you've limited their bench. So Iron Crown, kind of a fun include as well for metal. And then Slicing Blade for one metal, two colorless. Then for Dragon, we got some fun stuff. We got the Alga, 130 HP, has the time manipulation attack, search your deck for two cards. Shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. So you can kind of play this early on just to make sure you're stacking your deck, getting things on top that you want. And then Buster Tail with no condition, one psychic, one metal, one colorless, hits for 160. So good damage, has a fun little one energy attack that gets you cards stacked. So I don't see a problem with using Diaga in your, in your dragon deck. You're just going to make sure that all your energy coincide with each other with other dragon pokemon that you're playing since dragon have those wild energy types and then after that we have eternatus 150 hp the only attack that you're going to be pretty much using on this is going to be world ender one fire two dark energies we have 230 discard of the stadium in play if there's no stadium in play then it does nothing so you gotta make sure you have a stadium in play there's a, a lot of things that you gotta have make sure that are going on but other than that you're hitting for 230 base with that attack so i mean it's worth the risk and most of the time let's say 230 takes out waylord if there's nothing on your if there's nothing on your opponent's waylord no other damage soakers you're knocking out that waylord most of the time they're going to have rough seas out maybe parallel city maybe chaotic swell but you're going to be able to have a stadium and play a lot of the time, especially on those tankier decks. Uh, so Eternatus, pretty cool. Then we got this Eevee. This Eevee would be busted if you could play it, but you can't. So we're moving on. Fun and includes in the trainers. I didn't see anything big for this set. I don't think anyways, but we got Clement's Quick Wit. Heal 60 damage from each of your lightning Pokemon. Kind of soak up some hits. Um, Kind of a fun card, especially if if there's a like a, a lightning tanky deck. Here's our heal card. Pretty cool. Then we have Dragon Elixir. Heal six damage from your active dragon Pokemon. This is an item, so you can just straight up use it. So if you have like a tankier dragon deck, then here we go. We got a 60 for free healer. Then we got Jasmine's Gaze. During your opponent's next turn, all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. And it includes Pokemon that come and play, that came into play that turn. Um, that's kind of cool as well. 30 less damage. It's just a straight up tank supporter. You're taking 30 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon's attack. So Jasmine's Gaze is kind of a fun little include as well. But that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got, uh, brought some new cards that you haven't saw before to light. But other than that, if you have any other cards that I may have missed, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments as well. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, always remember, stay thankful.